What's up everyone? It's Hitbo TC here with another quick PvP tips and tricks video. You guys love the last one, so we're going to do another one. This time we're going to jump into the arena. Let's go. All right, you scurvy dogs, we are starting this arena match out right at the beginning. And as you can see, there's a couple things that are happening here. First and foremost, I'm looking at the maps and on the map table to find out where these islands are that we have to go. And then I'm gonna start directing the crew in the direction that we need to sail the ship. Now, while I'm doing that, the crew is doing a very important thing and they are picking up the anchor. We wanna make sure that that anchor gets picked up as fast as humanly possible so that we can get on the move as quickly as possible and as you can see we're running into a rock right at the beginning that's fine it's not that big of a deal a couple quick repairs but as you can see sharpie is using the harpoon to make sure that we are getting the angle that we need to go and i am directing her as to when she needs to stop with the harpoon turn so let's fast forward a little bit and here right away what what i'm noticing is there is a ship that is heading to marauder's arch which i know has quite a few chests on it and the other ships appear to be going to the smaller island so i have a decision to make do i want to instead go to marauder's arch fight the one ship or do I want to shoot off to the island, have two of us kind of dig as many chests up as possible, hide them on Marauder's Arch, while Lobo and I do that, Sharpie and Beardo take the ship towards a smaller island and we can effectively get two islands worth of chests. So that's kind of what we decide to do. We say, hey, let's do that. But as you can see here, I am not a helmsman. I should never be on helm. I am a first boarder. You gotta know your roles, okay, you guys? I'm a first boarder. Us crashing into the island is 100% my fault. But, you know, we live and learn. We all should know our roles. So anyways, the ship is now effectively heading the right direction. I intended for that to happen. Me and Lobo jump off, and we're going to start digging up treasure now the reason we're doing that is we just want to hide them we want to keep them away from the ship that's here and as as that's happening as as we're doing that beardo and sharpie are keeping in communication with me what's happening on the seas and as a good captain you always want to have a good understanding of all the other ships you do not want to get so tunnel vision that you just kind of ignore what's happening with your ship at the end of the day you are the captain and your ship is your responsibility so i'm making the decision to go back to the ship to give our ship another crew hand so that we can defend ourselves use cannonballs against the ship just so i can be there to help because two man galleons are really difficult to keep alive to keep afloat especially in combat so i use the mermaid i jump back first thing i do is i grab cannonballs and i'm just going to start lobbing cannonballs at this ship now i'm not the best cannon shot but you know the purpose is to just be intimidating you want them to know that you mean business now I want to point out something really quick. Sharpie JC is our buildra and she just shot up. She got a little aggressive and wanted to go for a board. So at this point, as she is off the ship, as the captain, I'm thinking, okay, my new role is cannons and bilgeret. I need to make sure our ship stays afloat. So as soon as Sharpie gets back, she is going to take that role back over. But I'm kind of keeping tabs on who we have on the ship, where we are going, how many chests gold has. All of this stuff is going through my mind at the same time. And something I've noticed okay, is gold it? has about five chests at least on board their ship. So gold is the priority. Red at this point is just a mere distraction and gold is where I'm turning my focus to. And as you can see, they just dropped their sails, which means they definitely have all those chests on board and they're gonna go for turn in. 
as you approach a ship, you always want to keep an eye out for borders. And I notice not one, but two borders are going after our ship. They're about to board. And I need to communicate that to my crew as quickly as possible. Now, something I want to point out here is I don't just say we are about to have borders. I tell Beardo, I want you to cover the right ladder and I'm going to go cover the left ladder. Making sure our anchor doesn't drop is the priority. But right here, I kill the pirate and I'm making a split second decision. I do not want gold to get away. So after I killed the pirate, I instantly go for a boarding lunge to see if I can't drop gold's anchor. Now it's super important in a decision like this to make sure you communicate with your crew what's going on, that you're off the ship, that they need to handle things by themselves. I know Beardo's the only one there. And as I board yellow, kudos to them. They were prepared. They were keeping an eye out for it. They probably spotted me lunging, which made them defend the ladders. So since I missed the board, I am swimming back to the ship and I'm trying to get I'm trying to get a, uh, a report on what's happening with the ship. So our mast just went down, our anchor is down, gold is in the wind. They are going to get those chests turned in. And my mind is starting to think about, okay, what do we do next? We have 19 minutes. We still have plenty of time to get chests to win this thing. But first is first, I need to get our ship repaired and get us back in the game. So first thing I do is I jump to the mast, get it up so that we can get repairs. I'm communicating to Beardo on what he needs to be doing. Sharpie and Lobo are bailing and repairing the ship and we're fine. We're, our ship isn't sinking. We're able to get a move on. And at this point, I know gold is too far. They they have gotten, they have won this round. They're going to be able to turn those chests in. So I'm not going to waste precious time chasing them down and seeing them turn the chests in. Instead, we're going to go to Marauder's Arch, where I know there are chests that we can grab and we could potentially win the game that way. Now something I want to point out real quick is I told Sharpie to repair the top deck. Now most people forget to repair the top deck. I am not one of those pirates. If our bottom deck is repaired and we have some time, we're not in the middle of combat, I will definitely want our crew to fix the top deck because that has saved our ship from sinking time and time again. While most ships don't repair their top deck, I always try to keep our top deck repaired. And as you can see right here, Cole is starting to cash in on all of these chests that they have. Now something as the captain I really try to do is I always try to keep our crew encouraged, always try to keep our crew focused. So even though gold is turning their chests in, we still have an opportunity to win this arena match. Now something I want to point out really quick is Green was at this island originally, but they left one chest here, which what that does is it prevents new maps from loading in, which means people who have all the chests, if they leave one on the island, it really puts us at a disadvantage because we have to get that last chest dug up before new maps load in. And that is a strategy a lot of seasoned pirates do, so definitely something to keep an eye out for, something to look for. So I'm telling my crew, hey, they're going around the island, they're going east, and uh, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try for a board. Uh, but right here, Sharpie tells me that they drop their anchor, which was this crew's biggest mistake, and this guy was pretty upset that his crew did it. Now I have the opportunity to board, and one of the things I'm gonna look for right away is making sure their anchor is down, and I'm just gonna try to do my best to survive. Obviously, I'm gonna fight these pirates and try to take them all down with me, but as a boarder, my job right now is to just stay alive and cause chaos, giving my crew time to bring our ship alongside it and send them to the ferryman. So I'm looking around making sure that I got all the pirates on this ship. 
and I don't see anybody else, so I'm going to just grab some supplies, and I'm going to go dig that last chest up, because I know that I can't get too distracted with this crew. Now, something I'm telling my crew is, hey, we have a golden opportunity here to get as many points as possible. So I'm telling them, hey, you guys get ready to load into this ship on the top deck, get as many cannon shots as possible. I'm not too worried about this crew. They seem like they're a bunch of swabbies. And so they're, they're just going to start unloading onto this crew, giving us a ton of opportunity to get points. Now, I'm heading to the island to dig up that last chest so that we can get more chests. And with 15 minutes left, this is still anybody's game. It's The game is not over by any means yet. Now with this last chest dug up, new maps are loading in. So the first thing I want to make sure is that new maps didn't spawn chests here at the island that we're at. So I just, just quickly checked that to make sure, and there was none here on Marauder's Arch. So I'm telling my crew, hey guys, you're doing a good job. There's tons of points that we're getting. We already have 2,000 points, and we're just beating the crap out of this ship with cannonballs. Every cannonball is worth 25 points, so four cannon shots shots gives us a hundred and we're just going to town on this ship they, they finally sank and we're deciding to go to the smaller island I'm telling my crew hey as soon as I get on board let's let's get this ship ready to go so as soon as I get on board we can just drop sails and go get the other chests now, fast forward a bit, I'm, I'm trying to decide what, what we need to do. So, the green has gotten more chests at this point. We're getting close to the other island. But green and gold are fighting each other. We have an opportunity here to maybe catch up while they are distracted with fighting each other. So I'm I'm trying to get our crew and our ship ready to get these chests as quickly as possible. So I'm telling Beardo to do a hard left turn here and we're gonna drop the anchor and he's gonna go ahead and get that picked up as quickly as possible while me, Sharpie, and Lobo go over to the island and get these chests as fast as humanly possible. So me being the best chest finder on the crew, I'm going to take the closer ones and ping them for people so that they can just dig up the rest of them and we can get a move on. While I'm doing this, Beardo is slowly picking up the anchor so that we can just quickly swim back with the chests in hand and we can be on our merry way. With the chests on board, our first priority is to turn these chests in. So as we get super close, I'm just going to drop the anchor. It makes it easy so that we can all just get these chests turned in. Even though we hit the ship there, it's okay. It's not going to sink too quickly. So we're going to start turning the chests in. And if you guys can hear in the background, what's happening right now is the other ships are in a fight. They are just getting distracted with needless fighting because guys, at the end of the day, it's about getting chests. That's how you win arena. So right there, gold just sank green. And we knew from watching the map earlier that green had a lot of the chests on board. So we have an opportunity here to win this thing. So we're just turning in the last of our chests, which is going to give us the lead. And we know that we have to prevent gold from getting any more chests turned in. That is the new priority. So they're picking up the anchor and we're going to head right towards gold. Now we're going to pick up right before we start the battle with gold. We're dropping our anchor because we are in a prime position to just, just nail gold with a ton of hits. And if you heard earlier, I mentioned to the crew to shoot for that mass to bring that mass down so that they have a harder time of getting away. So we bring that down and at this point gold is in trouble and to add to the misery I am going over to board the ship and i see a chest in the water gold is frantic they are struggling here and i'm just i'm just trying to cause chaos my goal is to just cause chaos to stay alive and and to keep gold in place so that my crew can just continue to lay cannonballs into the crew and this poor pirate is frantically frantically trying to keep his ship alive but it is hopeless and we have two chests in the water at this point. So we're gonna try to get them aboard. 
our ship, but green is on the way. So we don't want to stay. And I'm talking to my crew saying, let's get out of here. The most important thing that we can do is stay alive. We have the lead. Both of the ships recently sank, so we know that they do not have any of the chests. So what we want to do is we want to pick up the anchor and we want to get out of here. We want to stay alive. Now, here's a critical mistake that I made is I did not anticipate our ship to just take off like that. Uh, we apparently had the win, so man, we, we booked it. But that's okay. The most important thing for us, like I said, is to stay alive. We have the lead and we just need to keep it. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the turn-in and defend the turn-ins. We only have five minutes left, so we have a strong chance of protecting our lead. Fast forward a little bit, what we noticed was both gold and green were able to get some chests and now with only two minutes left, the priority that we have is to protect the turn-ins as much oh, as man. possible. So I see green is gonna go for a turn in here. I'm trying to shoot over there in time, but I don't know if I'm gonna get it. I'm, the cannon's not working with me right here. I'm clearly making some mistakes here, but let's see what's going on here. So green jumped off their ship and they're definitely turning in their chests at this point. But I only see see alive. one keep turn in so far. So what we thought don't maybe green, green had some more chests than they did, they water. did not and we lucked out here. So now they're shooting over to our ship to board, and I'm just telling my crew, hey guys, look for boarders. Let's make sure that we do not let them get aboard. We need to stay afloat and keep our lead. Green is gonna to try to sink us at this point, so we're just trying to stay afloat. But this whole time, I've been keeping an eye on gold and to see what they're up to. So they're coming to this turn in and trying to get some chests turned in. So we just need to defend. We have one minute left. They have an opportunity here. They could potentially get it. So we just, we bail off our ship. Me and Lobo and the whole crew jump over to this turn in. And our priority is to defend. We cannot let them get these chests turned in we want Boarding. to make sure yeah, that this is not possible hands. so we're starting to set up we're starting to protect our our turn-ins here and if you look at the ship here they are ready to turn in look at they them go chairs. so they got three that they're trying to turn in and we are just in full-on defense mode we are protecting the turn-ins we're not gonna let them get it and unfortunately for gold they ran out of time here and we prevailed so guys let this be a lesson you never know what's going to happen in the arena never give up we had a bit of a rocky start but we never gave up and we made some key decisions instead of going into fighting we went after chests and that is how we won in the end well guys, I hope you enjoyed that breakdown. If you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. It really helps me when you do that and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new video from your favorite Curse Captain. Thanks for watching guys and I hope to see you out on the seas.